Yeah. Oh, I grew so deep, you know. Oh, I can't you know that song? Oh, I grew deep, oh, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, now. Well, God bless you all real good today. Bless each and every one of you. Okay. I'm just going to sing this song. of your time. Learn how to surrender all to Jesus. Because he's right there. You know, Jesus says that he is alive. And he came that we may have life. And that we may have it eternally. We may have it abundantly. So Jesus is the answer today for your lives. Holy Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, come to Jesus today. That will be the most blessed thing you have ever decided in your life today. Make that choice to come to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. He is, he is who he says he is. He's so mighty, he's so powerful. He loves you today. You know, it's not, it's not hard to say, yes, Lord, I, I, I'll try and follow you. Oh. Surrender all. Surrender to Jesus. Oh, I surrender all. Lord, I need you. Blessed Savior, I surrender all. Make that decision, people, because you don't know if you'll be here. Something could happen. You don't know what's going to be in your life. You don't know the future. But Jesus knows the future. He said that he comes to save you. He came that you might have everlasting life. He gave us life that we may live it more abundantly. He wants you to live life to the fullest. So don't turn Jesus away today, people. Five minutes. Lord, here I am with all my confusion. With all the baggage I have, please, Jesus, come into my heart today, right now. Yes, Lord, if there's anything that I need, Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord, now. You're my friend. You're my only friend, Lord, that can understand me. You understand my thoughts far off. You are acquainted with all my ways. You know me, Lord. Jesus knows us more than we know ourselves. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Isn't God so good to us? He loves us very, very much. And, um, you know, so don't forget, speak, you know. Oh, this is a lovely song. Isn't it beautiful? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Make hurry up, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Move in my heart today. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Jesus flows into your heart, upon your body, and make you to be whole, and make you to be righteous according to the word of God. The power, there's power in the blood of Jesus. You know, people, there's power in the blood of Jesus. It takes faith and belief, so the blood will work for yourself in your life, in your, in your, in your body. There's power in the blood. You know, there's a story in the, in the Old Testament. When God wanted to release his children from the captivities of Egypt, from the house of bondage. And he said to, the, to Moses, his right hand man on earth, to speak to the children of Israel, if they want to be saved, if they want to, if they want to be saved, they've got to put the blood of the animal. They've got to kill an animal and get the blood and put the blood on the, on the doorpost of their house, of their tent. So when they do that, when the night comes, when the angels of destroyer comes and see the blood that was painted on the door of the house of the children of Israel, they will go pass by. That they will go and will pass by the house because of the blood. If there's no blood in the, in the, on the doorpost of the house, the angel will go in and kill the firstborn of that family. If you are the firstborn in that house, the angel will kill you. That's what happened in the times of Moses about the blood. But when the angel see the blood, he will depart from that house and run over it. So that's why we see the blood of the Lamb is so powerful. People of God, the blood of Jesus is real. It's so real. And it comes today the nurses and doctors are using blood to save people. The Bible talks about this life in the blood. There's life in the blood. There's life in your blood. If you have no blood in your body, you will die. You fall down right now. But because of the blood and also the love of Jesus Christ, the breath of Jesus Christ is within you. That's why you're walking past by. You're acknowledging there's, there's blood in your body. 
people, there's blood in your body. The Bible talks about there's life in the blood. So if you have no blood, you'll die. You will die. That's why you go to the doctor, the doctor will say, go and look for me a blood. You can't have the blood of the animal to save you. But you have the blood of Jesus Christ to save you. So people, we're here to give you hope for your life and for yourself to be washed through the blood of Jesus Christ that was shared on the cross of Calvary. The blood of Jesus Christ is so real. Even the food that you are eat is so real. If you can't see it, but if you can't believe it, that blood will work for you. The blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful. When he was on the cross of Calvary, one of the, uh, the God, he took the spear and put it on the side of Jesus Christ. And that spear hit his side, probably hit his heart. But what comes out of that, out of, out of the body of Jesus Christ is, there's the water and also there's the blood. There's the water and then there also there's the blood. Before every human being that comes on the earth, there's a broken of the water of a mother. So the human being can come out into the earth. So brothers and sisters, the power, the blood of Jesus Christ is so real. So acknowledge it. Acknowledge it, brothers and sisters. In you there is a blood. In you there is life. You gotta accept, you gotta come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. So we are grateful to out here to share to you. Maybe you do not know there's life in your blood as you are walking past by. You may think because of the food that you are eating. No, 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 no. It is the blood that is in you that give you alive, that give you, that keep you alive so you can enjoy the day. So brothers and sisters acknowledge the blood of Jesus Christ. So powerful, so powerful. He can do mighty works for your life. The blood of Jesus Christ can do mighty works. But we are so grateful. You can hear the message of Jesus Christ, the message of hope, the message of salvation, and the message of peace, the message of healing, the message of reconciliation, only through Jesus Christ. So brothers, we are one people, we are. You are not the animal, we are, we are, no, we are all human beings created in the image and the likeness of our Heavenly Father. So we are one. We love you because God loves us. So we want to come to share you the love of Jesus Christ that you shared on the cross of Calvary. So accept Jesus Christ. He loves you, brother. He loves you. That's what God says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whom shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.